Welcome to another Founder Wisdom Pod, Coaching Edition, Performance, Athletism Edition. We have Daria Tiesler with us today. She is founder at House of Holistic Performance. She's UK's leading holistic peak performance strategist. Her and I were talking about bike accidents uh, prior to the pod and how to get back on your feet from those. We both had bike accidents in the last couple of weeks, which is interesting. Daria helps female entrepreneurs in C-suits struggling with health, body confidence, and mindset to change to reclaim their best, their best selves. That is, she's a former pro athlete. So we're going to talk about optimal health, wealthy mindset, peak performance, women leadership, and precision medicine today. This pod is brought to you by podfire.com. If you want to start your own podcast, scale it, and monetize the unconventional way, you can go to podfire.com. Daria, welcome to the pod. Tell me a bit more about yourself and what you're up to nowadays. Thank you so much, Charles, and thank you for having me. Hello to uh, everyone. Um, what I'm up to today, I was just actually telling my daughter, Kiara, I'm going to have recording. So please, you know, be like in your own space, you know, stay with daddy. So I am definitely full-time or part-time mother. Uh, I'm running a business, as you mentioned, a house of holistic performance. Um, I am a daughter. I've got amazing parents. I've got amazing family, um, you know, and really, um, I think I'm trying to take the best parts of me right now uh, of my athletic performance uh, into my uh, my life, into business, into being mother, into carry on being high performing person. Um, however, as my vision um, a bit changed and improved over years, um, I'm trying to take this holistic approach to whatever I do in my life. Uh, because when I was an athlete, um, lack of mindfulness in sport uh, was I I feel a reason why I stopped possibly was guided by different energies you know if we start to talk about spiritual wellness and that was the reason why I this wasn't for me um, but this is what I'm doing right now when I'm practicing lots of holistic approach to performance still I perform but more more with like a edge in a different way so you started as a wellness coach and then you understood the power of mindset and then you were like okay this is not only applicable to athletes but also to CEOs founders high performers actually uh Charles how I started um when I uh, had uh, an injury in 2004 uh, I've realized that uh, after two, uh, 2002, sorry, after two years, I was not able to come back to uh, high performance. I wasn't actually able to come back to walk properly. So for 12 to 14 years, I don't remember right now, I think 12 years of my life, I lived in trauma, in a depression. I, I was like completely disconnected physically uh, and mentally. Uh, I was functional because of my mindset. That's how far mindset uh, brought me, athletic mindset. But And then I moved to uh, England in 2004 after realization and three surgeries that I cannot anymore perform on the level I want. I cannot anymore compete. Uh, I moved to England and this is uh, where all my journey started. So I've started as a personal trainer and then I've been adding different skills um, of nutritional therapy um, into my life, finding what's really happening with people on, on like they call it bio, biochemical level. And then I, uh, I really loved coaching. Uh, I feel, um, I feel very inspired about and empowered by coaching. And I think that comes from being an athlete. So I started implementing everything, all the strategies, and uh, that's what is House of Holistic Performance today. All uh, 20 years of my experience, clinical practice, I finished um, Academy of Physical Education uh, in Poland. Being an athlete, you know, I put pieces together and this is what I apply into my, my work. I call this a method of work, a uh, holistic performance method. Mm -hmm. So what pro sport were you practicing back then? How did the injury happen and how did you get out of that hole? Hmm. I've practiced handball. Uh, handball is a very popular uh, sport in Poland. 
Um, actually, I need to stop for a moment because my battery is going down. I'm sorry. I want yeah, like a... that's fine. This is what business does with people, Charles. <laughs> you just have to adapt to the environment. There you, you know go. what I mean? Yes, we are back. Um, so answering your uh, your question, uh, I play handball. Ball. Yes, it's a, it's a popular sport uh, in Poland. I played in first division, so I was earning money uh, for playing. An injury happened in very weird moment of my life. Very positive moment of my uh, athletic performance, but um, I was actually on the top of what I wanted. I got, I was in such a big trauma, so I moved faster forward that I forgotten about this. And this is the last one year and a half when I started to get back to my athletic performance to uh, reminding my skills, you know, because that's what I forgotten as well. What skills I had that can drive me forward um, in my business and in my life. And I forgotten that within eight months of my injury, I got a paper coming from a national team, like, uh, you know, the, the squad, uh, an organization that uh, uh, keep all the handball players to be part of the national team, first national team. I was coming now and then with my friend, um, to support the, the first the national team, but I never was part of it. And I'm getting the paper. And my coach, I was at the moment of moving to a different, uh, I was at the moment to moving to a different team. And my coach came to me with, uh, with this paper. And I'm like, just take it. I just didn't want to see this it was uh, like, I didn't comprehend. So look, took me 18 years to remind that I actually got this uh, this paper. But because I was on the top, you know, on the top of the game, both physically, mentally, driven, strong, uh, everyone was telling around me, you know, you, it's just it's this fantastic uh, condition you are in, you know, the mindset of winner, that's what I want, you no? Know? And then injury is happening. And uh, the injury happened very simple. So I tell you, uh, during the game, nas uh, national game uh, with another Polish team in the first division, uh, it's a nine minutes of the game. I'm getting the ball. I'm running with the ball towards the goal and I'm having a defender behind me. And I'm jumping, defender is behind me. I'm falling down on the floor and my knee gone, no? But again, fast forward with my knowledge uh, to um, clinical nutrition, burnout, I was in a burnout. One or two months before uh, this injury happened, we went to uh, Denmark and we were in Denmark, Denmark, Norway, Sweden, very top teams in the world in handball. And we were playing with Denmark team in the afternoon and in the morning we were training. And you know what was happening with me? I couldn't wake up to go to train. My friend would waking me up and I would be crying to go to train. I was not able to physically open my eyes. This is how burned out I was. But no one would be recognizing this. This is like now 20 years back. We are having different attitude and those top, top athletes in the world like Djokovic, they're telling to us, this is not just physical. You need to express what's happening in you. Uh, Poland, post-communistic country, go and suppress. 
go and suppress. Don't tell anyone what is happening with you because this is not the way you're going to perform and win the gold. So I stuffed everything in me. I didn't know what's going on. And two, two months after, I'm getting injured. And I closely linked those two. It was a burnout. There, is a, uh, there are studies that are linking ACL injuries with a burnout and exhaustion. And that was the reason over the time I started to see myself more and more working with high performance, high performers, CEOs, founders, um, uh, you know, high professionals who has the drive, but really the body physically is just gone and is only really the mindset that carry on them uh, forward. And that's it really the story of me being in London and um, location wise I worked in Liverpool Street in Mayfair I work in uh, Houston very professionally orientated uh, zones and areas um, and I managed to apply all my skills um, without I think knowing what I've been doing no uh, to work with people and improving their health first and former, uh, and then further mindset and conditioning and thinking um, to apply the holistic performance, I call uh, this rather than just only peak performance. So you're seeing the same symptoms in people, they're, they're putting too much pressure on themselves, like almost toxic pressures, like, if I don't do that, it's game over, like, how do you actually change their mindset? Yes, it's ex exactly this. Um, I think there is a, some level of sacrificing because uh, you have you actually have to do work. No, you build in the business, you run the business, you run the company, you've got a team of people and you want to drive high. You have to take actions. No, I am I my journey uh, brought me back to being more mindful and calm. I started to practice the mindfulness and meditation like probably a few years ago when I had more happening in my life. Um, but uh, um, when, when they come into me, I always assess their physical life and is any uh, sort of physical health and mental health and emotional health, nutrition, sleep, how your digestion is working, how you are adapting to stress. No, and then we go through uh, through the consultation that uh, allowed me to create personalized uh, program. And I'm trying to explain them. Listen, if you carry on like that, yes, you can. No one say no, Charles. Don't take me wrong. No, no one say no. You can go and get your goals, but the problem is, do you want to be in ten years time looking like you cannot walk, you old, you broken? you uh, have all the type of chronic health condition, exhaustion. I see people in my clinic uh, and um, I have recently uh, a client who has a partner and the partner has a cancer. And it's like, where the cancer comes from? I cannot see it. I said, look, let's look at the lifestyle. Is a busy person driving, you know, working in the city. There's so much stress. I mean, we might not see physically and that's what type a personalities also do they again yeah i'm cool i can drive but inside there is a battle no so it's a it's i think it's a deep conversation some people get it from beginning because they are at the bottom some people is like oh really i need show me show me data convince me that i have to change some people are very numb so they don't feel it and I have uh, clients like that, no? They like blocked completely. So then again, takes time for them to uh, feel. No, I actually have conversation with my husband recently. Should be suppressing what we feel in peak performance um, environment. And that is what I hear, no? All, all type of coaches will say, suppress your feeling because that is taking you in a wrong direction. I'm slightly having a bit holistic approach to that. Right. And some people, they numb or suppress, you know, like their consciousness. Well, most of the time you need to go the other way to find that stuff is not going well. You need to open your mind. You need to observe and analyze your body uh, millions of times to see what's happening. So what's your system to have folks 
understand that there's a problem, that there's a cancer growing in them, a, a literal or metaphorical one, and so that they can actually start changing? Uh, <clears throat> my system has changed over time because I have realized I cannot drop on people everything that I know because, like I said, most of them, if they are not in this deep shit hole, if I could dare say this, they won't, they won't like to change. So we really start from the basic foundation. Oh, let's look at, at your lifestyle, at nutrition. How do you eat? Uh, what do you eat? What time you eat? What is your, let's say, evening routine? I think sometimes I, I, I'm more concerned about evening routine than morning routine. I think evening routine people are tend to stay on the mobiles longer instead of going to sleep because they have, uh, you know, other other commitments to do. No, and sleep is so important. Um, we look in, so we look at this from that perspective. Nutrition is very difficult to change for people. Again, if they are not so con uh, convicted to change, they like, uh, and that is interesting because when they talk business, they're like, yes, let's do it now. But when I'm saying let's work on this nutritional changes, it's like, a, uh, and guys, you have to approach your nutrition and your health in exactly the same way you are approaching business. You build foundation, you are convicted you want to do, you set in your goals and you go and you do it in a like short version. So there is that pillar of, of health, you know, and I'm, sh I'm shortening things here. Uh, then you've got pillar of the body. Uh, you know, I was uh, an athlete and uh, I added this holistic approach to my performance uh, in a physical space because I burn out physically as well. Uh, but physical body is so important and I am so much advocating weight training and I know that there is lots of going on about uh, weight training and importance for brain health, longevity, uh, for uh, decision making, uh, feeling more confident, especially for women, that confidence additional is going to come from this boost of testosterone that comes with weight training, but that is a problem for most of women, no, they're very afraid of weights. Uh, so that is that pillar uh, where we are trying to scale and improve your body in terms of composition, uh, not only from aesthetic point of view, which I think is very important because I see my clients when they change, they dressing differently, they sitting differently. So it's easier for me to make a deal. No, then you've got a third pillar, which is mind and it's everything that is related to brain health, cognition. Uh, your cognitive wellness, your enhance enhancements of performance. And again, I look from the perspective of training, of nutrition, what works for brain, how can we offset um, inflammation, how can we improve sleep, how can we make you less anxious, again, feeling more self-worth inside. Uh, inside. Uh, but then you've got that aspect of being present with yourself. I'm so much immersed into heart-math connection, into feeling but the feeling cannot stop you from taking action instead of suppressing so this is all the neuroscience of change and application of that and then you've got a pillar of growth we we need to grow we need to find the purpose but again with the finding the purpose is it no is it defined from the day you ask what is do i want is not so it's reframing all of this as I'm going to change because the person who comes to see me is coming in six months time different. So their purpose, aspiration, uh, values based on today, not outdated values from one year ago when I was in a completely uh, different state of mind. And I combined all of this and over space of three months, six months, one year, we are working on personal growth. And for me, personal growth is really applying to how can we improve um, our organizations, how we can become better leader. And that's also what statistics say. You know, most of leaders are poor in health. And I ask myself question, how those leaders can lead organization? Yes, they can, 100%. But I opt in for a better leadership. On your side, as a coach, what are your top goals for this year? My top goals, my top goals is to uh, 
I'm right now I'm redefining my business and I'm uh, really trying to not niche down, but trying to focus on what do I want? What do I want my customer be, uh, my customer is? What is my audience that I'm approaching? Because I really want to deliver top quality of the product and offering to people that I serve. So this year I'm focusing on the offering and improvements on that. And I'm focusing on um, on the marketing and product uh, product delivery. Uh, for me, se uh, customer service and how I deliver my product is uh, is so so important. Sometimes I'm a perfectionist about this. That's why it took me few years to come up to show up myself. I follow a little bit Alex Hormosi and Leila, and uh, I I see the reality of the business when they're talking about entrepreneurial journey. Uh, they have very great tools. And um, yeah, so they're my my goals for this year in business. Right. What about your personal goals? Any fitness goals or biohacks or routines that you'd love to follow to optimize yourself? Yes. Yes, Alex. Uh, I have uh, I had a child 2019. Yes, it's been a long time. I came back to my fitness um, and, you know, the body wise and wherever. Uh, but I still have I want to challenge myself to get into myself into better uh, shape. I don't want to be the version of me before being a mother. But I want to be my version best of myself in my physical body at age 43. I work a lot on mindset uh, in, in relation to money. I work uh, because I had and I grew up in very limiting environment about this. Uh, so I'm working on that, um, overcoming um, certain patterns, more believe in myself, uh, finding the worth even deeper and um and like i like i told you at the start using my athletic mindset and do not i don't want to be afraid of who i am because very often i have been hesitating to attack and when i use i go through some therapies i have my team of people to to support myself you know and we have to uh, support and we have to applause people in business who do that because I think we can scale even uh, faster and better and my therapist asked me Daria so when you play sports because I told her you know I'm sometimes hesitating what people say if I'm too direct and she said but what was when you were playing games and, she, and what what did you do I said I was going and I was grabbing the ball like that you know and she said this is exactly what you have to do in your life do not hesitate. And I have skills in this. I'm naturally gifted. And my, my, my colleagues in my team always uh, in the past would be telling me, with you is easier. And I remember I had always a line of, of my colleagues running behind me because I was always first. But I, I, got, uh, I started to be afraid of that. No, So they are personal, uh, personal thing I want to work on this year as well. Well, Daria, thank you for coming today. Where can people find out more about you? Uh, listen, guys, you can go on a website, houseofholisticperformance.com. Um, we are refreshing, building new. Uh, I'm with my husband. This year this is another thing. We are so much working on a couples in business. You can do it this. Uh, I built my business with my husband. He kindly finally joined me. Uh, so I, I'm super excited about this. Um, uh, yeah, so you can just go to the website and, you know, I think it's the best way to go there. You have contact details. Uh, yes.